comes from um, Sagar and Jetty and Crystal Ball uh, on Hill.TV. They have a show called Rising. Uh, very good show. I'm, I'm a fan of it. Uh, but one, So a couple days ago, I think dur the day after everything with the stimulus checks and all that shit was uh, determined, um, we were at 3.2 million people claiming unemployment and Wall Street had its best day since 1933, which is great. Oh, my God. Are you guys relieved that Wall Street had its best day since 1933? Holy shit, you guys. I am. Because finally, the rich are catching a break. Because if we all know anything about the rich, uh, boy, it's been, it's been tough times for them. You know, they weren't able to afford a new jet the last couple weeks. Uh, they, were, they were like running out of ways to fuck over the poor. And they were like, how are we going to do it? You know, which is really stressful uh, when you're trying to exploit the labor of the working class. And they weren't, you know, how are they going to exploit labor when there isn't anybody laboring right now? I mean, that is whew, stressful times. It was real stressful. So, you know, this is great. Um, they can finally get back to their golf courses again. Oh, aren't you guys relieved? What Sagar points out is that we're heading to another uh, housing crisis because uh, there's no guarantee on rent and mortgage moratoriums. So some of these landlords and banks might say, well, OK, we're going to forego the payments uh, for the next one or two months or something along those lines. But you're still going to have to make these payments. Um, and, you know, it's like, well, but why would you have a total moratorium and forgiveness and all this stuff when, uh, you know, we're going to get that 1200 bucks in four months that should take care of it. Oh my gosh. In four months, you're going to have enough money to pay rent for maybe, a, maybe a month. Oh, you're going to be great. It's going to be fine. Look, here's the thing. America is not good at math. We all know this. America is like 48th at math and and part of the reason um america has trouble with math is because we forgot to carry the greed you know we forgot to, if you just carried the greed all of this would make sense so even if delayed payment um occurred right if they even if they deferred these rent payments if they deferred these mortgages during a time when uh, a lot of Americans are out of work, they're looking for unemployment. They're 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 trying to you know a lot of the a lot of poor people make their money off cash, and that's not part of the unemployment system. Um, that's money is still due. These companies aren't forgoing the money and extending the loans or anything like that in terms of rent. Um, they're just kind of delaying it and saying, well, if you can't pay April, you can pay it in May, but you're still going to have to pay April and May in May. That's not forgiveness or a moratorium. So we're not going to be able to make these payments either. And right now, chain restaurants like Cheesecake Factory aren't able to make their rents. Uh, and corporate commercial rent, um, we're, we're at uh, $3, $3 trillion in debt, which has surpassed 08 right but here's the thing these chain restaurants i bet they'll be fine oh they're gonna be fine you guys they're not they, they don't got shit to worry about they'll get bailed out we've already seen evidence of that that's been the that's been the prevailing pattern forever is they're 100 percent gonna get bailed out the people aren't they're not giving us any forgiveness on it but i bet the landlords will be like oh cheesecake factory yeah don't worry about it you pay your rent when you feel like you need to pay your rent. Don't worry about it. You just throw in a free cheesecake for your old pal landlord and you'll be fine. Okay, I will take a red velvet. I will take a red velvet. And this is this is part of the problem of the way things run is because when when there's not, you know, any money going into rents or mortgages or bank payments or debt payments or anything, that means there are no returns to Wall Street because it's not a, I mean, this, this economy is all about how much we trust Wall Street, how much faith we have in, in the market system and the stock markets and all this instead of how much, how much faith do we really have in ourselves, right? Like, like we're, how much faith do we, how much do we want to invest in each other instead of these invisible f made up figures? And that's how the, that's how everything is run. That's how everything is run. 
market values, investment, mortgage, bonds, these are all complex, unnecessary financial institutions and loopholes that are put in place to make rich people even richer. That's how it is. But right now, the problem in our system is that everything has a fucking price tag. Everything has a price tag. That's the problem with the system. And really, at this point, the question should be, based on everything that's happened in the last two weeks just alone, just in the last two weeks alone, I think the question should be asked is what deserves to have a price tag on it and what doesn't? Healthcare, should that have a price tag on it? How much is a human life worth? How much is your health worth? Should education, should knowledge have a price tag on it? I mean, we made up these industries. The banking industry is a completely made up industry. That's why all these rules get made up. And none of these rules seem to make sense. But again, nah, we forgot to carry that greed, didn't we? They're just new ways to exploit each other. That's all this is. And if if something doesn't change, then I think we are going to see some kind of a populist political revolution um, soon, sooner rather than later. And I mean, a lot of people have been talking about it. And there's a, there's a lot of dread right now in our society. And if you look at the way that these sort of financial institutions run, and look at the way that, that they are they are handed gifts. Um, they have a gift economy because the government just hands money to them all the time. Uh, we have an oligarchical plutocracy, a kleptocracy. They are just given this money. And that means that uh, we're going to have to make some pretty major changes by not buying into their system. So, you know, I had a... A friend of mine that was trying to explain to me stocks and bonds and, well, you know, oh, these these corporate corporate CEOs only make X amount of, they only make millions of dollars instead of billions of dollars. The rest is in equity and stocks and bonds and market shares and this, that, and the other thing. And it's just like all of this stuff is hyper complicated so that they don't have to pay their fair share back to the taxation system to help keep the infrastructure of the system alive, to help pay for social programs, to help their workers. Um, and, and just regular average middle class people, these are all loopholes to keep the rich richer. And that system, we no longer have to buy into, right? Like 401ks are pretty much a huge scam that's connected, tied back into the market so that poor people saving up for their retirement have to invest and buy into all of these other made up systems that, that create Wall Street. For what though? But for what? Like what do we get at the end of the day we don't get shit. We just look at the system that we have right now. It collapsed in a matter of a, a day. Like everybody freaked out. And we're not back up on our feet. It's been, it's, this is the third week that we're not back up on our feet. And I mean, if, if you pump $1.5 trillion and trickle down was supposed to work, we would all be back to how things are supposed to run. But that's not how it works. And this is proof of that. This is glaring proof of that. So we might be headed for it. And it's up to us, right? We are, we are, there is a lot more of us than there are of them. Um, so we have to make a change. And how we handle this populist political revolution is either going to come from uh, community organization, mutual aids, uh, depending on each other, um, and not investing in this made-up bullshit that bails them out all the time, but investing in each other, right? Investing in uh, small businesses, small to medium-level businesses. I would I would go so far as to say even medium-level businesses or, or, or you know, um, large corporations, huge big businesses. The, all of the ones that trade within the stock market of like, oh, we're just going to move money around. We're going to acquire this over here and somehow somebody's going to make some kind of money and you're just like, but okay, I guess, I guess you're the expert. And it's just like, no, they're not the expert. They made up some rules. Fuck all that. Stay in what's real. How are we going to help each other on the ground floor? How are we going to create a community system that when Wall Street fails and they keep bailing them out, how are we going to sustain ourselves? And that's going to come from us investing in us, not us investing in a 
power structure that has no considerations for us. Hey, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and share and make sure that you are subscribed to uh, get alerts whenever I'm dropping new videos. I'm putting out videos uh, pretty much every single day uh, during the the old the old pandemic situation that, that we're all that we're all in together. Uh, so make sure that you guys are, um, you know, like, share, subscribe, make sure that you guys are getting notifications, um, and, uh, and, and keep up to date with all this stuff. Um, uh, what else did I, I don't have any live stand-up comedy dates to let you guys know about. I normally would, but right now, uh, they are all on hiatus. So, um, the best way to, to help is with the with the sharing and making sure that you're subscribed and stuff. But uh, if you have the means to and you can donate, uh, you can donate over at ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate. You can make a one-time donation or you can become a sustaining member, uh, whatever you are able to do. But it is, it is absolutely uh, not mandatory. It is a uh, extra sense of appreciation uh, for all the content that will be coming out. All of my content will be available uh, for free for you guys to view and enjoy. Uh, make sure you guys are taking care of each other. Make sure you're being good to each other. And uh, till the next one, we'll see you on the road. Thanks, guys.